I don't really know anything about this game other than it looks kind of like a troll mod. I'm not sure. Uh, it has positive reviews. Of course it's unnecessary, but if you're interested in what anyway, I hope you like my mod. <laughs> Enjoy. Was I supposed to pay attention to that? It said click on the green notes if you want to learn the lore. Do we want to learn the lore? Sure. Okay. My head hurts. What the heck? Where am I? The light is very bright. I can't see anything. Jeez. This place will fall apart soon, I think. Okay. This door. Maybe I can break it somehow. Maybe with a crowbar or something. <laughs> yes, because that's the first thing a normal person's brain goes to. Is this for... a circular saw just on the shelf? Yeah. Why is this our only possession? Hey man, he doesn't know why he's here. This might not even be his house. This is Waxta, after all. Shachta. Do not enter. I'm trying to exit. <laughs> do not... Do not enter the outdoors. <laughs> wow. Instead of breaking the wood. Hello? You picked up the holy crowbar of old. Okay, why is there, like, Minecraft vibe music going on in the background? Just ignore it. It's... it's... we're... what? Oh! Violation. I can't tell if this is metal screeching or somebody yelling into their microphone profusely. It's a 50-50 shot, brother. Like, I need a sound for the, the elevator screeching down the rails. I'm just gonna yell into my microphone as hard as I can. And then... I forgot the elevator turns off periodically. Heck, I forgot even that. I need to find the device as soon as possible. I hate the fact that I gave him a British accent and then it said the word elevator. It's lift in British speak, Mr. Worldwide over here. <laughs> Wait, so did I lose all my weapons? Only a creature of inhuman strength can break such glass with an alu aluminium keyboard. <laughs> Wait, I mean, is- I was gonna say, wouldn't the keyboard break before the glass if it's, like, reinforced? Yeah, at that point, it's not the keyboard that's doing the damage. Maybe this gas in another room can be set on fire somehow. Why do they have voice acting for the main character half the time, and then half the time it's on-screen text? Half the time it's me. I'm filling in the gas. Okay, I fired one round into there, and apparently it worked. Okay, they're gonna have to stop that angelic music. <laughs> Every time you succeed at something, it does that. That's positive reinforcement. It's psychologically valid. Oh, look, Aperture. Wait, does that mean Aperture Science had a Russian branch? Wouldn't be surprised. The Russians were ahead of the game in the science field during the Soviet Union. Oh. What? It looks like the Combine got stuck on this puzzle. They broke the glass, they can just leave! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're doing fantastic right now. I'm... Bye. Did you hear the radio? I didn't. Go listen to it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like mid 2000s rock cover of, That's of like the, the kids bop theme. Kids bop version. <laughs> no, come on. Nice. Oh, I pushed the, the block <laughs> off. Grenades. Ah! Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> Me and the boys misjudging explosion radius. <laughs> Constantly. No, because listen, in in the last mod we played, it was like, it, the explosion radius was like you get within like four square miles of the thing, <laughs> and you just incinerate it on the spot. Blink 182 cover <laughs> still alive. Honestly, Blink 182 is the optimal way for uh, British people to learn American accents, and I will not hear otherwise. <laughs> what? Yeah, just throw on a Blink 182 album and you'll be a okay. I should probably <laughs> use these cubes that were presented to me. Uh, what's the button again? Z. Z. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Now they moved. They had ample time to get out of the way because I missed every single grenade. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a real one. <laughs> Go, go, go. Ah! <laughs> Combat segments with mahogany are just slack, slapstick comedy. That's pretty much how it's been for the past seven years, eight years. I mean, it's always been funny, but it's been, it's been more... Oh wait, the vent actually broke. Oh, it's just supplies. 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 There's a- wait, 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 wait. You have- can I pause for a second? Yeah. You have, you can see my- my desktop and stuff, right? Why do I not have it? Oh! Supplies! Supplies. <laughs> Supplies. Wow. I don't- I still don't know what that means. I mean, the fact that they titled the game that. It- it must mean something, right? I guess- I guess you don't have an answer. Okay, continue. Well, you see, I would continue, but the wall is here. So I'm thinking, oh. maybe I do need to- But crawl. there's impenetrable orange fog. Haven't you learned anything from Portal? Oh, you're right. Oh. Wait, have suit? Why there have suit in Aperture Science? <laughs> maybe there's a button to open it that we're blind well, to? Oh wait, there is a button. What? To Where's... open the HEV oh. suit. That. Me win HEV suit. I mean, I, I just have to wait here for a second while the Valve music plays. Okay. Why? <laughs> because it's tradition. Oh, that's metal boards. Crowbar is not powerful enough to deal with metal boards. I could cite at least three cases in real life that proves that that point is completely untrue. Well, this isn't real life. This is half life. Do do. Uh, if you're trying to sing the Valve theme, whenever you say do do, it 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 just comes across as Duel of Fates. <laughs> no, that, that's a do do. Why is there so much orange fog in Aperture? My leg. Oh wow, his voice changed completely from like Russian teenager to male 07 himself. Oh, there's water. I thought this was just an abyss. I could have just jumped all the way down and not lost any health. Mahogan, are you still here? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you like left the call on, didn't say anything, quietly got up from your computer and drove to McDonald's. <laughs> that, don't put that past me. <laughs> And you come back and just blame it on, like, your internet went out. <laughs> you blame it on your internet going out, like, as you're chewing on your Big Mac. <laughs> oh, your internet went out. Crazy, <laughs> I know. 
I really want to turn the volume down because the combat is like way too loud. But I know if I turn it down, the main character is randomly going to start talking again and we'll just hear him mumbling in the distance. Oh, Aperture Science Shotgun. That for some reason looks exactly like an unmodified Spaz 12. More! Notes on the wall. Genry Freedom, scientist. I don't want to destroy the portal now. I want to find my dad first and escape with him to City 13. I didn't get to read the rest of it. Okay, I'm just gonna turn the audio down because even when it's up, I can't hear him. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're officially retconning this game. The main character is not a teenage Russian guy. He is... Mahogany sitting in his basement. He is 20 year old British dude who's like overly posh despite being in life-threatening situation. You know, if it were up to me, I think women should be allowed to vote. <laughs> what? What, what age are you living in? Oh, good. GNU. GNU. <laughs> Just get close to them. Get close to these? That it's hurts. That's not working. That's not working. Go back. Go back. Oh, I have to science the consoles really hard. I think I scienced all of them. Oh, the giant projector. It is due. This is the part where we get teleported into the cold hard steel. Oh no. The the portal gate looks the same. Oh. Cake. She do booth. <laughs> oh no, I'm causing a resonance cascade, but in aperture science. Wait, was this the Okay, no, never mind. I got excited. I Rushing thought this was. Entanglement. I thought this was the first split second that I saw this area through the the teleportation. I thought it was that one underground area that Rick Astley dances in in the music video for Never Gonna Give You Up. One of the zombie voice lines sounds like he's saying "Yeah, boy," but in zombie voice in zombie voice there's okay one um mondegreen that the the half-life community has had with the zombies uh since like 2006 is yaba my icing is one of the screams and then i think there's like one other but i don't know what it is are we still in aperture science uh it's uh it's very unclear because <laughs> we would... we we went through the teleporter, so... I would venture to guess no, but it could go either way. Why is someone deconstructing a Dell office computer from like 2006 in here? Uh, the Aperture Science doesn't... The, <laughs> they're trying to reverse engineer Dell 2006 office computers because they're so technologically advanced they don't understand it. They gotta learn the secrets of Dell. They can do so much, but when it comes to normal desktop computers, <laughs> they're just completely ignorant and in the dark. It's so bizarre that the Aperture Science is canon within Half-Life, because it's like, Aperture Science is so comically goofy and, and weird. It's just odd that they exist in the same universe. Okay, here's a... Oh, I was gonna say here's a theoretical question, but it's your turn. Wait, what's your theoretical question? Well, Genry might start talking, so... But in the off chance we can't hear him, you can just British dub over him anyways. <laughs> God, oh. am I in Egypt now? I asked for DE Dust 3 and I got it. This is- this is all your fault. <laughs> okay, we approach. <laughs> Why is there just a Spaz 12 sticking out of the sand? Dust 3. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> okay. I forgot there's like terrorists and stuff. I don't make the rules. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How much you want to bet the song that's playing is from Serious Sam? One of the Serious Sam games. Um, I'm gonna go into the game files later, and I guarantee you it's gonna be. It's gonna a be song. titled Serious Sam. There were so many Egypt levels in every Serious Sam game. <laughs> it was like every a requirement that there was at least one level that took place in Egypt. So much so that people got so sick of it that in the newest Serious Sam game, they actually put in the description, "We promise there's no Egypt levels this time." That's actually what it said. <laughs> It's something very close to that. Like in the list of features, it says something like no Egypt levels or whatever. Oh, bananas. Uh, I was going to point them out, but you beat me to it. <laughs> Why didn't you equip the holy bananas? I can't, unfortunately. They're not equipable. I'm unholy. Ah! This actually kind of is just serious, Sam, at this point, because it's just hordes of enemies. Congratulations, everyone. You're watching the most premium Deadwater content. <laughs> Place to get stuff. So, oh. I would have never thought to shoot that. <laughs> yeah, because the other one, I think it just blew up because the Combines were throwing grenades and stuff. So it was just like happenstance that I saw that. <laughs> That's like... That's like 2005 PS2 first person shooter level design where it's just like the one thing you would never think to do and you just have to wander around the level doing everything until you finally find the one course of action that lets you progress. Time splitters too. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking when I said that too. So I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just, oh, hello. Your turn. Holy moly, uh, the BUTF is this place. <laughs> is that is that supposed to be commentary, or is that the title of the level? I don't know, and also, we have Gravity Gun now with no explanation as to why. Yeah, no, that, that's what this game does. It, like, replaces all of our weapons for no with no explanation of how this... we lost our previous ones or how we obtained the ones we currently have. This started off as a Half-Life Portal crossover game, and then it just turned into Serious Sam. <laughs> It's literally just like a serious Sam or Time Splitters style of gameplay where it's just you go through level, get to teleport at end of level, go to next level that's completely unrelated to the last level with completely different like weapons and stuff available to you. But you wouldn't know because you never even finished the first level. I gotta see if I can snipe a head crab with an orange. Okay, well I did, but it didn't kill him. Okay, now it did. I don't understand this mod. No, I don't either.